this episode, we're going to talk about Bulletproof Coffee, why I drink it every day, a little bit about why it's good for you, the science, and also why is my shirt so bright, because it's like my future. What's up everybody, it's your man Pots and Pans. Today we're going to talk about Bulletproof Coffee. Why? I'm not sure. I feel like most people should know what it is by now, but you'd be surprised. I'm always posting on my Instagram stories that I drink it, because I do drink it every day. Uh, a lot of people are like, what's going on? What, why are you putting the butter in the coffee? Uh, get with the program. If you already know or you're not interested in all this science and all this stuff, like why it's good, if you're that type of person, hey, recipes down low. Got you, got, got, got you covered right here. Check this out. Coffee, butter, MCT oil, not coconut oil, a little salt, maybe some cinnamon, something. Blend it all together. You're good. For the rest of you who actually care, because you're my gnocchis and I know that you care because you like science, you like cooking, you like moi. So, Bulletproof. It's an actual brand. They sell supplements. They have a blog. I've talked about them in the past. I've shot a video for their lab in Santa Monica. Uh, but a lot of people think it's a fad. It's not a fad. There's a lot, actually a lot of science to it. So that's what I want to get into today. I want to talk about like each ingredient. It's really simple, but why they're good for you, why I do it, the benefits I get, all that stuff. So first things first, really simple, coffee. So everybody knows that coffee can give you energy. Most of us rely on it too much, but there's a lot other things going on in coffee It's actually good for you. There are polyphenols, there are bioflavonoids, all these things that are activating gene expression, helping us long term. Um, there's a lot of studies that actually show that a couple cups of coffee uh, a day can actually increase your longevity, chances for it. So that's pretty cool. But also for all you fatties out there, caffeine itself uh, activates lipolysis. It's pulling fat cells out of your body, all the stuff that you already have stored, and you start to burn that off as energy, so that's pretty cool as well. Mm. Good quality coffee has antioxidants, vitamins, trace minerals, potassium, manganese, all these other things. There's a lot going on that most people don't realize. Coffee is really, really good for you as long as it's organic. I don't want to beat down the bush here. Is that even an expression? Whatever. Single source would be good, but there's also, you know, you can, you can get a, a blend of things from different places and still have quality source. Um, the biggest thing to understand here is that you don't want any to toxins. Dave talks about this all the time. Mycotoxins, it might be blown out of proportion a little bit. They've known about mycotoxins for a few decades. The best coffee growers and the ones that actually care about their coffee um, test all that stuff. And you actually lose points if your coffee tests for mycotoxins, blah, 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 blah. So, that's not too big of an issue. You shouldn't have that, but don't be buying Folgers, okay? My, you're my gnocchis. You're not going to buy Folgers, all right? Uh, don't be buying Maxwell House, Dad. It's important to know where your coffee's coming from and get some really nice stuff. Uh, there is a Bulletproof Coffee. You don't necessarily have to do that to get good quality coffee. Next, butter. Most people are still scared of butter. Don't know why. I do kind of know why. It's all these generations of propaganda and all this shit against butter. And now people are a lot of a lot of people are scared of dairy. Okay, but that's not something to be concerned about. Uh, if it's grass-fed butter, it's massively different. It's got a bunch of vitamins, and obviously, it's free of hormones and all these other things that we're pumping into these mass-produced factory farmed animals, and so that's something to consider. Grass-fed butter also has CLA, which can help you burn fat. It also has something called butyrate, which is a short chain fatty acid. You don't need to know that, but basically it helps prevent and also quell inflammation that you might have currently. Um, yeah, good, 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 good source of saturated fat. Don't worry about saturated fat. Unless you have high amounts of inflammation, that's not a big concern. Don't listen to what the health. Do not listen to what the health. That documentary sucks big. <laughs> my bad, my bad. What is the kid show? MCTs. What does that mean? Medium chain triglycerides. You got a glycerol backbone and you got three fatty acids. You know, triglyceride. Didn't have to try very hard to understand that. <laughs> 
These fat molecules have a long tail of carbons that it could be any amount. MCTs have, depending on who you ask, 6 to 12. Some people think it's just 6 to 10. Lauric acid, something found in coconut oil, is 12 carbon atoms. And some people think that that's not an MCT. Some people think that it is. The deal with that is that it actually has to go through more metabolic processes. It doesn't go straight to your liver like other MCTs do. That's why there's a huge fuss about MCT oil and everybody uses it because it's fast energy. It goes straight to your liver. It gets absorbed. Fast energy to you, to your brain. Um, and it doesn't break a fast in the sense of that it produces a blood glucose response or an insulin response. So people love it in the fitness industry, especially intermittent fasters. That's why Bulletproof coffee is a thing. Other fats that you consume, let's say a olive, extra virgin olive oil or an avocado oil, these are long chain fatty acids and they have about 13 to 20, 21, 22, something. I'm not a doctor. They have a lot more carbon atoms and it takes a lot more for our body to break them down. Now, here's something that I think is really, really important to mention. A lot of people go out and they buy coconut oil instead of MCT because they hear that there's MCTs in coconut oil. Yes, but there's also LCTs. I've never actually heard anybody say that, but long chain triglycerides, um, anything above that 12-ish range. Well, lauric acid, and debatable on being an MCT or not. This is where the confusion comes in. It is 12 carbons and a lot of people think that it gets digested differently. In fact, we know that it does. Uh, the debate is on whether or not it is MCT or not. So I've tested them both and I do think that getting a high quality MCT oil like the Bulletproof, uh, whatever they're calling it, the XCT, which is a blend, or just the Brain Octane, which is C8, all eight carbons, caprylic acid, um, yes, those do work. I'm not partial to Bulletproof. I use other products. I've used Onyx, which is pretty good. They do have lauric acid in it. Theirs is more of a blend. Just buy whatever you want. I would find a pure coconut oil based MCT and go with that and then just, you know, figure out what works for you. Everybody's body's different. I'm not paid by Bulletproof for any of this, but I want to be. I don't get one single penny out of Bulletproof, but I should. I've never once in my life gotten a check from Dave Asprey, but I will. That's essentially the only thing that's in a standard Bulletproof coffee. You have your water, your beans, obviously. You make the coffee, you blend it with the grass-fed butter and the MCT. Um, I'll add a little bit of salt, obviously. I add salt to everything just to pinch to elevate flavors. That's just what I do. I make things taste gooder. You could add cacao powder. You could add coconut milk, coconut cream, almond milk. Uh, what else? I actually put collagen protein in. Um, I generally do not have my Bulletproof coffee until after my workouts. I like to work out fasted. It's good for fat loss. Uh, many other things. Um, longevity, we can get into that another time. All, a whole other episode about fasting. Um, but I don't necessarily have my Bulletproof coffee until after my fast is finished, after my workout. And so, you know, I'll tend to add a couple of these things. Collagen protein for the building blocks. It's going to help me after my workout. It's kind of gives me this boost through this second part of my day. I just worked out super hard. It gets me that little extra and I make sure that it's before about eight hours before I go to bed so that doesn't interrupt my sleep. A little bit of stevia to sweeten it up. Um, I add a creatine, two grams of creatine, five a day, but you can't absorb all of the creatine at once. So two grams of creatine, another additional nootropic. And also on top of that, this is a big tip, is L-theanine. Look in L-theanine, about 200 milligrams with your caffeine. It's interesting PubMed studies out there. As soon as I saw L-theanine, can actually help you with your jitters, can actually help you focus mentally. Um, a lot of times that happens, you have too much coffee, you can't think. It's like you go over that threshold. L-theanine keeps you locked in, regulated, your mind focused, uh, improves your memory. Um, it actually helps facilitate alpha wave states, which is like, flow state shit, you know? A few things to consider. Um, if you are not fat adapted, you're not used to eating a lot of fats and you're still kind of more dependent on carbohydrates, um, start slow. So the recipe is like up to two tablespoons of both the butter and the oil. Start slow, maybe a teaspoon of each. Work your way up. It could be a little uh, disaster pants issues. That's disgusting. It could be pretty rough. And also, um, too much saturated fat for some people could depend on your genetics or just your regular routine. Too much fat on an empty stomach can actually have the opposite effect where it's inflammatory. So maybe just take a little bit of fiber in. That's going to help digest that fat. And uh, you should be good. should be good to go. 
that's typically what I do. I have a little bit of fiber, probiotics, uh, some greens, microgreens, something like that. Just a little bit to help absorb, but it's also not going to produce too much of an insulin response. Uh, that seems to work best for me. If you are lactose or casein intolerant, what you could do is go out and get some ghee. Ghee is something that came from India originally. It's clarified butter, essentially. You can get a ton of different types at the store, or you can make it at home. Just melt over low heat, melt your butter, milk fat separate, and then what you have left over is a really, really flavorful butter-like oil, essentially. It raises the smoke point. You can, a lot of people do this in kitchens, um, professional chefs like myself we actually clarify it off and then you get that butter flavor without the uh, high propensity of it to burn so that's something to consider you can go out and get ghee replace that now do you have to blend it honestly i'm not really sure what i've noticed is obviously like the mouthfeel is going to be good it's going to taste better it's going to look better you're going to get that nice froth on top of it if you blend it up but i don't know if it matters any science out in there blah 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 any science nerds out there want to point me in a new direction, show me a study, how it might change molecular, makes sense in my head. I'm just a chef. I'm not smart. You could use one of these. <coughs> a Vitamix right here. Could use one of these, but uh, two things. A, I don't always want to lug it out. It's way harder to clean. And also, you have to preheat this bin. Hold on. Hold on. This. Get out of here this you got to preheat this thing or else when you pour the coffee and all the other ingredients into it even if it's hot going in it cools it down too much and by the time you pour it into your mug it's not the right temperature i don't like it you know this aerates it so much you get a killer froth on this thing but it aerates it way too much so blender not my style my style however one second so what's my trick how do i do it i shall show you this guy right here you've seen this before on one of my old videos it's a blender right but it's a stick blender and it gives you the opportunity to blend the coffee while it's still in the pot over the flame you don't lose the heat you get all the foam you get foam did you say foam you meant foam you get all the foam all the fun and all the goods not to mention it's a lot quieter <laughs> And when you're ready, you just pour straight out of the pan into your mason jar, and voila, a mason. <laughs> it's a mason, so a mason, so a mason, so a mason. Wow, son of a hot catch 22. Comes out of the pot hotter, but it also hits your lips harder. God damn, that's delicious. So now you get it. You know, I gave you the cold recipe, now I gave you the hot, I gave you all the details, the science. You understand, you saw the foam. Did you see the foam? You saw the foam. You get why I drink it. It's fast energy, it doesn't create a blood glucose response if you're just using that standard recipe. If you add the collagen and maybe some other things in there, the almond milk, those things, yes, those might create an insulin response because of your blood glucose fluctuations, but that's all good. It still tastes delicious and uh, you're gonna live, it's fine. Just enjoy the damn coffee. Let me know if you like these videos. I'm gonna produce some more cooking videos coming up real soon. Uh, I'm a perfectionist. I want the things to be in place before I actually do them. I want the videos to be quality and uh, so that you guys can enjoy them and get the most value out of them. That is coming, I promise. Find me on Twitter, find me on Instagram, Snapchat, all across the board, Real Chef Mikey, you know where to find me. Uh, let me know if you like this video, if you're gonna try this, do you even care? No, and I don't care. If you don't care, I don't care. I don't care. What you, what you, I, don't, I don't need your approval. Make sure you subscribe. Hit that bell notification if you want to see more videos in the future, which I know you do. Shout out to my new subscriber, Amanda Zhang. Hey, sister, congratulations on being the newest gnocchi to the pot. Don't you hate it? when people do that in public, like, so dick. So, so dick. Thank you guys so much for watching. Leave me some love and I'll leave you some love in return. Love, peace, and bacon grease, my Chef out. Chef out.